Welcome back to the X2 Aspen Gradebook tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning how to find your schedule. Let's take a look. When you sign into X2 Gradebook, you'll be on the front page of X2. To find your schedule, you're going to need to click the My Info tab to take you to the tab My Info. Once you open the My Info tab, you are going to go to the left hand of the screen and choose Current Schedule. When you click on that, your current schedule will show on the screen. It's important on this screen to see which trimester you are looking at. If you are looking at a trimester one schedule and you are in trimester one, then this is the schedule you want to use. But let's say you're trying to find your trimester two schedule to find out what your new UA will be. And it's in trimester one where you are looking. When you pull up this schedule, it's going to show up your, it's gonna show your trimester one schedule. You will need to use the down arrow to select trimester two to get your new schedule. Now, when you're looking for your new UA schedule, it's important to remember that your team and your classes may be different from what's on your schedule. Make sure you pay attention to your core teachers for your regular schedules for math, English, social studies, and science. But for UAs, you're going to want to look at the period of the day where your grade level has UAs. So for instance, in sixth grade, we have UAs third period and seventh period. That's where you're going to find your UAs. Once you're on the right trimester for the schedule you want to see, and you can find your UAs, you will see your UA title, which is the class of your UA. You'll see your UA teacher name, as well as the room number. So if you have any questions about getting to UA during remote learning, and you need your Google Classroom, and you don't see your Google Classroom listed on your Google Classroom homepage, you may want to contact your UA teacher to get more information. Let's take a look at how to contact your teacher if you need to. In part four, finding a teacher email. To find a teacher email, you're going to go to the nashua.edu homepage at www.nashua.edu. You'll see the home page here, and up at the top, you'll see a tab called Our District. Click on that. It will open up into a drop down menu where you will find a space that says Contact Us. Click on it. When you click on that, a new tab will open. In this tab, you're going to write the last name of the teacher you are looking for, along with a drop down menu of finding your school. So in our case, we will look for Penichuk Middle School and you will write the last name of your teacher. Make sure you spell it correctly from your schedule so you know that it will pop up. Once you press search, you, your teacher's email will come up here and you can click on it in order to contact them with any questions.